If you need to set up a GXV 3470 IP phone, you've come to the right video, so stay tuned. All right, let's configure the GXV 3470. We've got a cloud phone system in our cloud. We're actually gonna be <clears throat> pulling information off of a free PBX. You can use your phone system. If you've got a phone system that supports SIP registrations, should be pretty easy. We'll talk about the info you're gonna need from your phone system as we're setting up the phone here momentarily. So we're gonna set up the phone. We're gonna configure it for basic use on our free PBX phone system. And then we're gonna make a test call at the, the end of that. If you don't have a phone system real quick, go to accentvoice.com. You can sign up for cloud phone service. We support the GXV 3470 and all the Grandstream phones out there today. So. Go to accentvoice.com if you want a cloud phone system that supports this phone or your SIP phone that you're using. All right, so first things first, the uh, GXV3470 that we're using here, we wiped it completely, we factory rebooted it, so this is gonna be a start to finish. How do I find all the info I need and how do I configure this thing so it'll be just like we took it right out of the box. So the first thing we need is we need the phone's IP address. It's gonna be a local address on your local network. It's probably gonna start with 10 dot, 192 dot, or 172 dot. Those are the three most common local IP address formats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the phone, I'm gonna hit the settings button, and I am, you see the settings menu here, it's gonna to be tough to see, but I'm gonna look for my network status. Now you can follow along on any GXV phone here. Settings, network status, it's the second option here on the 3470. I see my network status right here on the screen looks like this. All right, we've got a 172 address. It's 172.22.22.102. I have to stress that that number means nothing to anybody out there watching this video. You need to find your local IP address. Then you get to your computer, make sure it's on the same network as your phone, and you browse to the IP address of the phone. So all you've got to do is enter 172.22.22.102. That's for my phone, not for your phone. Remember, find your phone's IP address. I can't stress that enough. All right, so I pulled it up here and you can see the login to the GXV3470 web interface. Now, for all Grandstream phones, the default password, is, or the default username, excuse me, is admin. The default password is actually located on the back of the phone. Uh, Grandstream has changed this in the last year or two. If it's an older model GXV phone, not just the 3470, or you're running an older firmware, the password could be admin. Odds are though, if it's a newer phone, the password's not going to be admin. It's actually located, if you've got the phone and you flip it over, it's located right here. All right, there's a little spot that says password. It's right underneath the MAC address. It's gonna be a hexadecimal, or excuse me, it's going to be a, um, I guess hexadecimal uh, password, uh, some lowercase and some uppercase. I'm gonna put the phone down right here, and I'm just gonna enter the password into the uh, interface, so. All right, password is in. And, no Google, I don't want to save this. All right, uh, initially I have to create a new password, so I'm just gonna create a new password here really quick. Uh, all right, got my password in. Had a little more trouble with that than I thought. I had to, Grandstream's changed their password uh, uh, rules lately, so I had to type that in a few times, apologies. All right, so we're in on the main screen here. Uh, for the phone, we've got our account status, we've got our network status uh, on the left-hand side. This is all navigation, so you can get a quick look at your statuses. These are all the SIP accounts mentioned previously, 16 potential SIP accounts on here. Have fun with that. Um, we've got various phone settings, network settings, system settings, all types of different things we can change along the left-hand side here. We can look at, modify, customize, etc. We're just going to be going to account today. And we're gonna be setting up account one. All right, so let's just name account one free PBX because that's what we're setting this up on, a free PBX today. 
All right, SIP server, this is your SIP server address. It's either going to be a local address on your local phone system, if that's what you go, you've got, or it's going to be a um, wide area network address if you're using like a phone service or you've got a cloud phone system, something along those lines. So it's probably going to be either a DNS address, which is, you know, could be like phone system dot, you know, xyz.com, or it's going to be an IP address. And that IP address is going to be a WAN-based address. You've got to get this information from your phone system, your phone system provider, or your cloud phone service. You can't get any of this information from me. I'm just trying to tell you where to go to find it. All right, so we're going to type it in right here. All right, now we also need the SIP user ID, the SIP authentication ID, and the SIP authentication password, right? So. All this stuff, I'm actually going to, I'm blurring out, right? So I'm, you know, I'm not going to show this for security purposes. But again, your SIP user ID, your SIP authentication ID, and your SIP password are specific to your phone system. So we're using a free PBX, so it's pretty easy on a free PBX. SIP user ID and SIP authentication ID are the same. It's going to be your extension number, all right? So in this instance, I'm going to put my extension number in for both. I have seen systems where the auth ID and the pass user ID are different. Um, there are some extensions that will use, like, or excuse me, phone systems that will use like your MAC address that's assigned to the phone. So for instance, you have to put the MAC address in the phone system, and then the phone system associates that MAC address with an extension, and you put the MAC address in the SIP user ID. Um, there are some systems that will just generate some unique credentials in general as a SIP user ID. So the SIP user ID might be completely different than what my extension number is. You've got to go to your phone system or your phone service provider and you've got to find that out. And again, if you don't have a phone service provider, go to accentvoice.com. We can set you up with a cloud phone system today for a low, low price. All right, so what I'm going to do with the free PBX on my other screen here is I'm just going to copy and paste the SIP authentication password in. Um, on the free PBX, it's also the SIP secret or the extension secret, I should say. I'm going to give it a display name right now. I'm just going to use the extension number I'm using. So we'll put that display name in there. It's just my four-digit extension number that I'm using. And um, we can give it a, a voicemail access number, I think, um, if I remember correctly. The voicemail access for free PBX is star 98, if I remember properly. could be star 97, but I think it's star 98. Either way, make that work. Okay, so this is all the information we need to actually register the phone to the phone system and start making and taking calls. Now, mind you, the extension already exists on my phone system. All right, so if the extension doesn't exist, I have to go set it up on my phone system, but you know, you've got to already have the extension available on the system. So just, the account's marked as active. Uh, we're just gonna hit save and apply. Don't know if the mic picked that up or not, but you heard a little chime from the Grandstream phone, da 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 da, means it's registered. And put that up there so you guys can see it. There you go. Register on the phone system. Very, very simple. All right, let's make a phone call. They're busy now. Please try your call again. All right, let's call voicemail here. Please enter your voice one extension number, then press pound. All right. All right, so access the voicemail on the phone system there, demo, you know, free PBX, you heard the prompt there. And, uh, you know, we could make and take calls off uh, the public telephone network if I've got a SIP trunk attached to that phone system or I've got some means of calling. And I can now make four-digit calls, 10-digit calls, whatever I want. So what we did, nice and easy, was we went and we... Uh, grabbed our information from the phone system, right? So I needed, in this instance, I needed my SIP server address, I needed my extension, or excuse me, I needed my SIP user ID, my SIP authentication ID, I need my SIP password as well. So you gotta have those four things. Write those down, put them somewhere, put them on a notepad. You need those to register your phone. After that, you gotta go and grab your um, IPv4 network address for your phone so you can browse to it. So you gotta find the IP address, throw it in a browser, you browse to it, you get this interface right here uh, for the, uh, the the GXV. You log in, uh, reset the pairs, set yourself a new password, 
and then you configure the account information, hit save and apply, and you're registered and you're off and making taking calls. Guys, this is like, you know, the, the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with a lot of SIP phones today in this phone as well and phone systems. So we're not covering all the different functions that can be configured on here, all the different unique set settings that can be tweaked. Uh, we're not covering any of the unique settings that can be changed on the phone system. All that's specific to you and in, in your setup. What we are doing though is quick and easy getting the phone registered from uh, the web address to the, grant, to the uh, free PBX so you can start making and taking calls. So it's that simple, it's quick and easy. You know, if you've done this a few times, you know what you're doing. You know, you can, you can do this in you know, under two minutes. So hopefully this can help you get this done in under two minutes as well. All right, quick and easy to set up the Grandstream GXV3470 phone. I want to thank you for watching this video on setting up the device and getting it registered to the phone system. Like I said previously, if you are in need of a phone system to support the Grandstream phone or any Grandstream phone or any SIP phone, really, and you want to get set up quick and easy, go to accentvoice.com for cloud phone system, team meetings, uh, team messaging, Microsoft Teams integration, all kinds of collaboration services and telecommunication services as well. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with a friend or a, or a colleague that you might think will find this video useful. If you've got any questions, please drop a comment below. We do respond to the comments and we try to get back to everybody and the engagement really does help the channel. If you want to support the channel further and you like what you saw here, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. We do regularly upload videos on new products and devices, reviews, setups, apps, services, try to cover as much as we can in the cloud telecommunications space. All right, that wraps things up. We appreciate you sticking around all the way till the very end of the video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Give us a like, check out accentvoice.com, and we look forward to seeing you next time.